This is the Philips Hue smart button. I am going to attempt to dismantle it, tear it down and see if I can connect the buttons, connect them in between common and L1 so that this will turn Philips Hue lamps on and off. What's up everybody, this is Payne Labs. Today I'm going to be playing with Philips Hue Smart Button, which is a little battery powered push button that turns your lights on and off. Why am I going to be playing with that? Well, I've got Philips Hue throughout my, my house. Uh, I love it. I think it's really, really good. Um, something that's quite important to point out is that Osram Lightify, they've just decided to shut down Osram's uh, cloud service, which means Lightify is basically effectively being shut down. They've never upgraded it to Zigbee 3, as Philips have, which they did an over-the-air Zigbee 3 up, um, firmware upgrade th via their own hub, which has brought all of their kit that you've invested all that money in right into the next generation. And even if Philips decide to shut down their cloud service, you've got uh, Zigbee 3 devices throughout your house, which is a completely open standard. You can buy countless um, other hubs which some of which have cloud-based functionality, some of which don't. Anyway, enough about that. I, I'm using Q. That's what we're looking at here today. So this kind of switch is not particularly good. Um, it's all right. It does the job. It doesn't fit UK boxes. It's too tall. So you end up getting all kinds of stupid adapters and things like that to make it work or just sticking the switch in a different place and putting a blank over where the light switch used to be or putting some people go so far as to put silly clips over the light switch it's just a terrible solution now they did come out with recently friends of hue system it's basically it's originally it was in ocean it's a kinetic uh, mechanism so as you push the button it generates enough electricity to send a command originally it would send in a notion command they've come out with zigbee versions of that which are now Philips Hue compatible, so they're a Friends of Hue program, and you can now buy UK-based pressure push switches like that. The problem with them is that I've been using an Ocean for a long time, because uh, I've been doing smart homes for 15 years, and the aesthetic, the kinetic aesthetic of pushing the button is horrible. It just feels rubbish. So what I'm interested in is, maybe not this particular one, but it will do the job, is if you go to companies like Jung or Gira, they have beautiful finishes, beautiful frames, beautifully large retractive switches that push with a beautiful, gorgeous click. They feel really premium. And I wanna be able to connect those onto my Hue system so I can put really nice switches throughout my house. But there's no push button interface. If you're working with a KNX system or indeed any other system, and indeed Losram Lightify Pro provides, a push button interface that you could mount behind a switch like this to just pick up here between these the common and L1 as you push it and it would detect that put the lights on now this is really loud it's very very clicky a little bit commercial I'm ultimately using it as a proof of concept for a larger switch anyway let's give it a go so let's get it open so, it's a little bit grubby. It looks to me to be designed for the European uh, VDE style round back boxes. There we go. So a plectrum or similar is all that's needed. There's your battery inside there. Just wondering if I take the battery out I need to try and do without doing any fundamental damage. There we go. Oh. So, battery's there. There we go. So we can actually just pull the whole board out. Here we are. And there it is. That little micro switch. Okay, so this just pops out and we've got access to this. You can see here it's not a membrane. It's actually a little micro switch here, which means if I can get wires soldered to the underside of this micro switch, those two points, I've got myself a push button interface. 
So inside the Hue Smart Switch, we have this and then this, and that screws on there like that, which is rather cool. So it's very easy to dismantle. So this is what we've got to work with. You can see that it's quite a cool little board and hopefully with a bit of multimeter action some of these pins might allow me to access the switch buttons without actually taking the button off desoldering it. We'll see. So that's pretty cool. There's an insulator on the side of this little micro switch and you see there's a little pad there and a little pad there. When you push this button in the middle, it joins between that and that, which means all I've got to do is solder a wire on there and a wire on there. Connect it in to the right pair of these and this button will trigger this as a push button interface. So let's do this. Okay, so. It's all set up, if you watch this. Lights on. Press and hold to dim down. Right down. Press to turn off. Perfect push button interface functionality. So, I've got my two wires here which I have uh, pre-tinned and trimmed. I trim them a little bit more because they don't need to be quite as long as they are. We don't want any more exposed core than we need. So let's do this and see if it works or if it blows up my thing. Okay. I've had success, so let's get my switch. One goes in common, hopefully without breaking off. <laughs> Hold down to dim. We could make this robust, we'd be able to use any spring-loaded retractive switch you like with Philips Hue lamps, which in my humble opinion would be game-changing. Why do they not do it? I don't know. But proof of concept, it works. So given that this Philips Hue device does not fit a UK back box, just let that sink in. All this time we've had these funny shaped switches, they finally come out with a square version that's too small to cover up a UK size back box. So um, slow clap for that. But proof of concept that you can use any retractive switch, including some of the really, really high quality ones with a really good kinetic aesthetic to the click and a visual aesthetic from Gira and Jung. So you could have intelligent lighting beautifully integrated in your home with dimming. Proof of concept, successful. Come on Philips, do more for us, do better please. <laughs>